What is up guys? Welcome on back to TK's Garage. And welcome on back to another Copart walk around. Hi right, guys welcome on back to TK's garage and today we have this we have nothing but trucks and that's what the cool thing is so first things first you got an f-450 here that's definitely seen better days completely smashed only on that corner though the rest of it looks like it's decent The rest of it does look decent, but that door, that corner, I mean, even the suspension might be okay, but for sure that door is done. That fender corner hood, and then if there's anything mechanical, oh, the frame, look at that. Oof. You can see the spring down there, so the suspension is definitely damaged. Let me see. Yeah, the frame is definitely bent in like this. I don't know, could possibly be fixable, but is it worth it though? I don't know. You never know in these things. Ugh. Molding and stuff falling off. Happy to see no blood in here. I love to see that. No airbags either. That's a little concerning. I wonder if it was parked when it was hit. But then why would the airbags go off? Huh. Interesting. Well, I'm not going to spend a ton of time on this one because it's completely smashed. But let me know what you guys think about it. Now, this is a 2500 HD um, Chevy. It does not have... Um, it is not diesel. It is gas. Because I see the Vortec badges up top. And looking here at the front... Ugh, it looks like somebody hit that pretty hard. Hood bent up. Headlight busted. Long as the engine's not damaged, though. Could be a decent work truck for somebody. Airbag. I mean, even the door's not catching in the fender, so body lines and stuff are still good. The airbag, nobody really cares. I mean, you can tear that out and keep it moving. All right. Not bad. Not bad at all. Definitely, like I said, definitely could be a decent work truck for somebody. This has official use only, so it must have belonged to a state. Is that a smokestack? It, man, stop it. Good thing all this stuff is locked. So who knows what you're getting when you buy one of these. Oh, got some sandpaper, some other stuff. Cool. Cool Raider sticker on the rear. Now this gate alone, this little lift gate, if you're able to get this thing cheap, even if the truck is not saveable, you could literally probably scrap the bed, you know, like sell the bed and some of the other components off of this truck and this lift gate for probably more than you paid for the truck. More than likely. I mean, those are ridiculously expensive. All right, we'll get another one. Now this, now this one here, I love these ones. Um, these 3500 Chevys, and I had one. I didn't have a quad cab. I had a, an extend cab. It was like a, I don't know what they call that, a plus cab. You know, it had like the little back seat, but there wasn't another door. Um, or maybe I had a little door that folded out. I don't remember. But I love these dualies, 3500s. If this thing is a diesel, I am so interested, it's not funny. And you'll be surprised, these will get totaled when the injector pump goes. Like people will make up some excuse, it got flooded, it got whatever. And it's literally, if it's the diesel, the injector pump does blow. And when I did mine, I mean, I got my truck for what, 2100 bucks when I bought it from the guy? Because the injector pump was going. I still was able to drive it for a year, just stall. I put it in neutral, start it back up and keep driving. Um, 
Got some waterlogged J's or a J in the back. Let's look in the back seat here. Oh, we got another pair of J's that are dogged out. What are these, the fours? Yep. Ugh. Smells like raw ass in here. Mirrors. I don't want to get in there and break those. I don't need that bad look. Smells like weed and ass in that truck. All right. Yeah. She's a ragtag for sure. Gotta love the condom just sitting down there on the floor. Multiple condoms just sitting on the floor. Yeah. There's the other Jordan from the back sitting up there. Interesting. Cool. Yep, yep. But overall, I mean, she's not completely disgusting. But, yeah. She's definitely seen better days. And it is a theft recovery. Yep, there we go. 127,000 miles on the clock, though. So that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Now, what will be interesting is... Seeing what she's got under the hood. Because if it's a diesel, I could clean this up. It's a good color for me, too. Green. I like it. Ah, uh, it's gas. Yep. 80 U.S. gallons. Jesus Christ. 80 gallons. And it's got the one battery. Oh, it's got, a, it's got a spot for another battery. But yeah, it's definitely gas. Definitely gas. Oh, I'm guessing this is what, the 454 probably in it? And it's my guess. Yeah, yeah, I bet you it is. Ugh. I mean, it's not horrible. You get like eight miles to the gallon in this thing. The motors are usually pretty decent and reliable, but... Definitely a theft recovery. And that sucks. That really sucks because I really like that. I, I mean, like, I really like, I'm definitely a fan of that body style, of this body style of the 3500. If I could find one for a good price that was diesel like this, that run and drove, it would be my daily driver. I swear to God. All right, let's go to the next one. And I apologize in advance, guys, if you guys are catching the wind and shit, but uh, it is what it is. We got another 3500, another uh, Chevy, or this is GMC. Missing the mirror, cloth seats. That means it's not over, overly done up. It's not a Denali or nothing. It's a kind of a big exhaust. Maybe, just maybe, it's a diesel. We'll find out here in a minute. Good tires. That's one another thing you can tell with a dually. If it's got good tires, like somebody tried to take care of it. Ugh. Oh, theft recovery. What you want to bet? Yep. <laughs> I swear. Is Chevy that? I mean, I know. Oh, I'm not going to talk about the procedures of how you steal these, but. Yep, there's the pin. God. Just. <sighs> well, being that it is a theft recovery, it could possibly still be. Uh, a savable truck it could possibly be a savable truck oh it's got the big boy gas engine the vortec the 8.1 liter vortec which is a beast i wouldn't mind that i, I mean i'd much rather have a duramax but eh. yep single battery that has a big ass engine big ass engine huh well let me know what you guys think about this one in the comments this one now, I bet you it's listed as not run and drive because the ignition is all wore out. But it's got the fifth wheel and everything. Like, 
put a fire extinguisher right there. This thing could be a decent, like I would straight pipe the shit out of this truck. This thing would be loud as hell. I'd daily drive this sucker too. Tires are great on it too. I mean, I'm gonna add this to my watch list. I like this one a lot. Now this one's a little interesting. This is a rollback um, tow truck. All right, and it's from Utah. And it's, I know it, say, it looks like a Ram, but it says Sterling on the front. And you didn't know like International and a bunch of other ones do that. It's still got its DOT stickers on it. So this was, this, this truck put in work. Oh boy, you know it did. They had a tuner and everything for it. <laughs> they had a tuner and this is the Bulldog, right? So I'm going to guess. It looks very similar to one that I had uh, in my diesel truck. But yeah, that's what's up. Not much to really look at this one. It's definitely not a runner. Um, and I'm guessing that's probably why it's here. Maybe it died or blew up or something. That and the batteries are out on the bed. Maybe electrical issues. Man. Tires don't look terrible on it. If it ran, it probably could still go to work. Interesting. Well, I know this is, you ain't seen a lot of this one, but let me know what you guys think about this one in the comments. Might be the first regular truck we're seeing. Got a lifted GMC Sierra, and those tires almost look bald. Holy crap. Somebody, oh yeah, and you, you see the damage right here under the truck? So something went under. Boom, they hit something and they went under it. Well, look at these tires. This is how you can tell if somebody took care of their vehicle or not. Bald tires, negative. Nope. Ooh, nice little key mark all the way down the side of the truck. Ouch. Ouch to the ouch, ouch. Corner pushed in over here. Yep. So it got hit. Corner pushed in, broke that tail light. Bed is all buckled and stuff here. Definitely could be fixed though. If it didn't hit the cab and the cab didn't get damaged, which it didn't, huh? It must have a ton of miles. But look at look, these tires are, are like ball, almost bald. Like, wow. Keys are right here in it. She looks like she's dead as a doornail. Ooh, that's just, that uh, steering doesn't feel great, that's for sure. Oh, it's broken. Well, that would explain it. That would explain why this is like this. Ouch. Two-wheel drive, too. Nothing special. Huh. It's got a base level sticker. I wonder, I mean, a base level thing. Is there, oh, there is a speaker box down here. Or there's speakers in it. Oh, there are. Look at that. Whole speaker system in here. Alrighty. I don't know if that's worth buying this truck, but you look like you got some steering damage or something. That steering column is broke. The back is smashed in. So I'm going to say probably no. I don't know. It's got nice little tow mirrors and stuff on it, though. Somebody would want it. I'm just loving it out here, guys. There's so many trucks. Now we're getting to a Ram, a 3500. I mean, flat tire, it's all grenaded. But I'm wondering why it's here. Um, I mean, wow. I mean, it's a Longhorn too. That's beautiful. That's a beautiful truck right there. Man. 3500 turbo diesel. Had some kind of sticker on here. Like they were transporting. It does got the big fifth wheel in it. Ooh. Yeah, they hit something. And then they tried to drill it and pull it out. So something either backed into them or they backed into something. So they were they were running this truck. They were either doing like uh what do you call it? Uh hot shot trucking with it probably. I don't know why you get a longhorn to do that with though. 
get a tradesman. But hey, it's each their own, right? But this tire is done and grenaded. It's on the wheel. That's why it's sitting here like that. Oh, let's take a look on the inside. See how bad it is. Doesn't really look bad. Does it smell bad? Up. Mm, oh. Missing the whole seat over here. Interesting. Interesting. Probably had it like a, like set up like a bed or something right here where they could lay across when they were driving. Be my guess. Be my guess. But it's clean. The interior is not destroyed, right? That back seat's missing too, huh? I'm willing to bet. Like, yeah, that's probably what they were doing. They probably like had this thing set up to like lay something across it to sleep on it or something when they weren't running huh interesting very clean i like these rams i mean i like outside of that old chevy 3500 like i really liked it like i also know this is a hundred and thirty something thousand dollar truck probably right um two-wheel drive cool clean the uh, hood uh, thing is busted. Oh no, it's not. It's up here. What is this on the floor? Some kind of switches. Alrighty. Let's take a look at that uh, Cummins turbine diesel and see how she looks under the hood. Doesn't look bad. Even the battery covers and stuff are still in pretty decent shape. Still in pretty decent shape. And it's a 14. I mean, it's not brand new. But it looks pretty decent. Huh. Well. And they got the big boy tow mirrors and stuff. What do you guys think about this one? Let me know about... What, let me know your thoughts on this one in the comment section down below. This one is definitely... Um, interesting i bet it's going to go for a lot of money even with the bed you know the issues i bet it's going to go for a ton of money huh well this one you may have saw in the rv video this one had a bad day somebody stripped this one now the only thing that's interesting to me about this ram is yeah they stripped it interior but they left the center console right and they didn't take the most valuable part the common servant diesel weird now the only concerning thing for me is it is missing its oil cap and there is ice up on top of that uh engine where it's thawing out wherever they just towed this thing from and uh yeah she's uh she's been uh stripped stripped somebody stole this and took everything not everything everything <laughs> They took everything. Like, even the little buckets where you had, like, the storage compartment. They took everything. <laughs> Look at the DEF. Gas, gas tank is still here. But, I mean, like, they literally took everything. Damn. That's crazy. That is crazy. I didn't know ram parts were going like that but i guess so but i'm gonna strip one like this what year was this one 16 oof like just damn <laughs> damn gina oof. now this one's not a diesel this one has the triton v10 in it it's ford f350 and it has like the extend cab but not the quad cab pretty clean it's got the locking hubs in the front so i'm assuming four wheel drive the tape evidently did not hold the uh mirror in place it's an 01 ford f350 it's got the nice lariat interior uh-oh 
it thinks its hazard lights are on. Uh, I don't see it. I was looking for, oh, it's up here. Nope, it's just tripping. Damn, it's a theft recovery. You can see the ignition. Man, these people suck, man. Oh, and I hate when people call my phone. Ugh. Anywho's. There you have it. Not much really to show you on that one. You know, usually when... Oh, they got the GoPro mounts. They were doing something with it. But yeah, it is, though. See how the lights are still blinking? Oh, so the alarm was going off when I opened the door. Yeah. Interesting. Well, there's no keys, so definitely a theft recovery. That sucks. All right, that gets me over here to this F350, which has the 6 7 power stroke in it. Had a little bit of a boop boop to the front. All right, rest of the truck looks pretty decent. You can see a little bit of damage and stuff up here in the front. Ouch. Kind of went under the truck. Frame looks straight though, that's positive. But I'm sure there's gonna be some engine damage. There's no doubt about it in my mind. I see glass all over the front up here. And that was probably from whatever other vehicle it went through. You see all those nicks and scratches and whatnot in the paint. See how the rest of it looks. Couple little dings and scratches back here on the rear. It is a four x four according to them stickers. We'll see when we get on the inside. Not bad. And the 6.7, I know people say if it's not a 7.3, it's trash. But I, I've heard that you can bulletproof these 6.7s, and they're pretty good engines. I don't know. I'm not a Ford guy. Do do do, do do do, do do do. Seat covers, are they cloth seats under it? Okay. See if she's got enough power. We'll see if she'll uh, turn over. Low plug light is out. Oh, no. She's dead as a doornail. 40,000 miles on her, though. That's nothing. This thing is ready to go to work, you know, after you fix, uh, fix what's wrong on the front. Fix that up on the front, and you got a worker right there. What year was this thing? 15? 14? 16. Yeah. That's not terribly too bad. At all. Huh. Which brings me <coughs> to this trimmer. Beautiful. That tailgate looks so nice, right? It's brand new. The truck was probably brand new too. You can tell, look at it, like the, when the, you see the wheel caps are scuffed up, you already know it's bad. Scratch, scuff, scuff, ding, dent, boom, boom, boom. Aluminum torn, boop, 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 bang, smash, boom, over with. This thing was done. Woo, 22 Ford F-250. 6.7 power stroke. The powertrain, though, probably still good. Probably still good. I do see fluid all over it, though, so who knows? This is a non-entry, so we're not going to go into this one, guys. But you can see this one uh, definitely took a... Damn. thing got smashed from, like, every direction. Wow. I mean, every direction. And what's super crazy... Look at this. Curtain airbags and nothing else. No front airbags, nothing deployed. That's nuts. That's crazy. Huh. We got another one here that's a F350. And it's another non-entry. We can't go inside this one. Don't know why. I'm guessing it has something to do with those race canisters of fuel back there. Power stroke V8. Probably dead. Yeah. 
Yeah, theft recovery. Yeah, this thing has been run through for sure. Oh yeah, I got these stolen radios, cables in the back, VP racing tanks. Who knows what the hell they were doing with this thing. Probably not anything positive though. <laughs> Probably not anything positive. Whew. Wow, interesting. Well, just something I can show you. Got a Ram with the Scat Pack motor to the 2500 with the 6.4 liter. And this one is, say it with me, completely and utterly smashed. This thing is destroyed. Damn. Well, I did see this 3500 chilling over here. I, was, I figured, like, I should probably look at this. I want to know what hit it. Um, I mean, it definitely hit something in the front. Like, I'm guessing a telephone pole, maybe? I'm guessing some type of pole. Because it hit here, right? Kind of went down the side. You know what I'm saying? Like, let me zoom out a little bit for you. Hit here, went down the side, and then, boom, busted the roof. That's where it got expensive. I mean, this was expensive by itself, but... You know what I mean. It's got the common, just a dually. Interior didn't look too bad. I'll open the other side here in a minute. I already know it's what kind of time it is. Oof. The rest of the truck looked pretty decent. Local truck. Look at them tires, man. Good tires and everything. It says bio. Oh, shit. All right. I can't. Sorry. Can't do that one. Oh, somebody definitely shit themselves. There's a difference between smelling like blood or like that metallic, metallic, like, leftover blood, whatever you want to call it. And then when you get that, 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 uh, that dookie smell on top of it, nah. And I'm, oh, God, still on my nose. That's disgusting. Oh, gross. Oh. Look at that. It looks like that thing melted. It did. Look at the, look at the lights in this thing. They like melted in. So this thing was parked to next to something that was on fire. And it just melted. Wow. Did the inside burn? A little bit, but it doesn't look, look like it, whatever was burning was outside of it and it just caught. Oh yeah, look at look at how the roof is all it's all melted. Damn. I know it's a truck video, but I saw this RV and was like, that's crazy. Yeah, so it, it was parked next to something that caught on fire. And that was, that was it. Alrighty. That one's got a drive shaft hanging like, well, you know what it's hanging like. I'll let y'all come in the comments below. I'll probably come out here if you guys want to get a full, like, semi-truck video or something like that. Because I got a couple of semis out here. Um... And, you know, I got some decent looking trailers and stuff out here too. You know, like if you're just hauling bikes or whatever it is that you're doing, like something like this, you could fix that. Make it a passable um, trailer for sure. This car hauler is pretty dope. Huh. I wonder what uh got this thing here. Huh. This one literally, they just parked this one. So we probably can't look at that one yet until it gets put in the inventory, but yeah, smashed, definitely smashed, windshield busted, yeah, looks like the gear or the, uh, the hubs exploded or something too, see how it's got all the hub oil all over the tires and stuff, 
crazy. All right. <clears throat> Sorry for the wind in advance. I know, not a truck, but that is a very interesting looking Daytona they have right there. Huh, a couple Hummers. We'll have to come back out and look at some of these other vehicles. Um, maybe next week. Anywho, guys, um, that's going to do it for me. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Um, let me know if you, what out of all the trucks you saw today, which one you like the best. If it's something that you might be interested in, or you think you might want to try to jump in and bid on not just one of these trucks, but trucks anywhere at Copart, you can sign up. Go to copart.com forward slash TK's Garage and sign up for a membership account today, which will give you the deal give you the access to come look at this stuff and uh bid on something and try to get a deal i apologize for the wind in advance it's blowing about 40 miles an hour out here right now but we're going to go ahead and get out of here let me know what you guys think in the comments below hopefully you enjoyed the truck video and i'll see you guys on the next one peace